Maintaining a good code quality across development team is of vital importance when it comes to ease of maintenance of your source code. The Workflow Analyzer component in UiPath Studio is a static code analysis tool that ensures your project meets high quality and reliability standards. Because it's a static code analyzer, this is a tool that checks for inconsistencies without actually executing the project, as opposed to dynamic analyzers that will step in during the execution of your project. If you are a developer familiar with static code analysis tools like out there, then you can directly relate this with the kind of tools like Sonar Cube or Visual Studio Code Analyzer. While there are many reasons stating why you should use static code analysis tools in your project, the most important aspect of using this workflow analyzer is to enforce quality standards and best practices in your coding practice. This really helps to ensure that you and your team create quality code. The workflow analyzer uses a set of rules to check for various inconsistencies in your code. The rules are based on automation best practices and will include checks for variables, arguments naming, empty sequences or workflows, package restrictions and so on. However, this analyzer does not identify errors in execution or compilation. To access or manage the workflow analyzer settings, just click the settings icon in the project panel and then select workflow analyzer. You can also click the analyze file ribbon button, then select workflow analyzer settings from the drop down. As you can notice here, each rule has a scope and a default action defined. The scope can be at the activity level, workflow level or at the project level. For the default action, you can choose from four different actions like error, warning, info or verbose. Very same as the log levels that you define in the log message activity. You may also notice that the rule codes follow a specific naming convention. Now you can easily customize the configuration specific to your project by toggling the checkboxes next to each rule to enable or disable it. So whenever the workflow analyzer is triggered, the validation of the file or project is performed. You can manually trigger the validation by accessing the validation menus under the analyze file ribbon button here. To validate the current file, you can select validate file and to validate the whole project, click validate project. The validation results are shown here below in the error list panel in accordance to the rule action. You can simply filter the error list for errors, warnings and messages with these three toggle buttons here. Additionally, you can filter error by scope or a rule by selecting the required values in these drop downs under here. You can enforce workflow analyzer either before every run or before publishing your package. Enforcing the analyzer before run will prevent the execution of the code. Whenever you run or debug a file, the workflow analyzer will check all the rules and executes only if no errors are found. Enforcing the analyzer before publish will prevent the publishing of code and you can publish only when there are no rule violations in the code. In this case, the results of the workflow analysis will be included in the published NuGet package within the project analysis results.json file. And hey, do you think this is a powerful feature that can help you enforce standards and best practices within your team? Have you used any other static code analysis tools that benefited you and your team before? Just leave a note in the comment section below. See you next time soon. Bye for now.